Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Woodcraft, a new game coming out later this year from Delicious Games, who've previously put out Messina 1347, Praga Caput Regni, Underwater Cities, amongst others, and designed by Vladimir Succi, who either designed or co-designed the above, and Ross Arnold. In this game, we will be accumulating hazelnuts and blueberries, points and money respectively, making beautiful wooden crafts, dice are our lumber, tools are our tools. And we're going to try and score as many points as possible to please this uh, this little squirrel over here. Before we get started, I recommend you turn on the subtitles to the Klingon channel. If I've made any mistakes, they'll be corrected there. Thanks, Steve. And if you would like to help me keep making videos, then uh, patreon.com forward slash slickerdrips or Kofi, their links in the description. They would be fantastic visits. Any support you could give would be much appreciated. And is the reason that videos like this exist, as well as the fact that Delicious Games sent me this prototype coffee. Thank you very much. And so, yeah, usual caveats. It's prototype materials. If you see anything a bit unusual, I think they're like kind of plastic pieces rather than the presumably punch board you will get in the final copies. I'm going to be playing a solo game today because there's a lot to take on, but that doesn't mean that Little Glass Marty won't be here to help me. In the solo game, you play just as you would the multiplayer, and there is a deck of cards moving around action tiles, taking cards away, speeding you along. Not that you need much speeding though, because you have 14 rounds, 14 turns essentially. There are some ways that you can get some bonus actions, but that's essentially not much more than 14 actions your entire game. And in my experience so far, they whiz by. So let me show you my wood shop. Is that my technical term? Following in the footsteps of history's most famous carpenter, that's right, Geppetto. I have space for helpers. I have space for tools. I start off with some tools, a sawmill here that's going to help me split dice. Some splicing here where I can increase the numbers in my dice. These are upgrades I can install later, some pots for some trees that I can grow. And orders. We started off the game with three helper cards. You keep one of them. Five starting order cards. You keep two of them. And two hazelnut order cards. The hazelnut ones are special because, as well as being more difficult to do, they can give you some kind of nice rewards, some good points and blueberries. That's the money of the game. But an alternate reward for them is that you get to claim one of these endgame goals and get some points, usually for doing specific things, but sometimes just points for points. One of those has come out. You get one more than the number of players. We're simulating two players, so a lot of the things have been set up for two. On your turn, this is your player aid. If you have trees planted, they grow by two. It says this on each of the trees. At the start of the game, you won't have any planted. Then you'll pick an action from the action wheel. You can spend a lantern. You do start the game with one. To ignore the action that you picked and pick a different one, you wouldn't normally do that, but there are cases where you might have to. And you can do any number of free actions. At the end of your turn, you can spend blueberries, money, to earn hazelnuts points by moving along this marketing track and you can see that the later steps can get expensive but could be really really lucrative in terms of the points that you'll get. There is also the option of spending three lantern tokens to take a bonus action. So they're worth earning and holding on to if you can. So let's have a look at this action wheel. There are seven different actions. They all start in the same quadrant and we have this blocker tile on the starting quadrant. It can be any of the four. The rulebook does recommend this one for your first games. It basically gets rid of any of the bonuses for the first section. And what's going to happen is you're going to pick one of the actions. It's going to move along to the next quadrant until it hits another tile and then stops. As the tiles build up underneath them, you'll be able to get bonuses. So you see now if somebody took this action again, they would gain a blueberry for it. And tiles continue to fill up coming from this quadrant to this quadrant. You can pick these actions again. If you were to pick a tile from this quadrant, you would first need to move the central portion of the action wheel, put this in the furthest space along, and you can see now that some bonuses have been revealed. All of these tiles in that starting section, as well as their main function, will earn you two points for picking them. And there wouldn't be at the start of the game, but if anyone was to pick these, they can get some really, really brilliant bonuses. Again, if someone picked this tile again, it would slide around. And so anyone picking stuff from here, you can get two points and you can get a bit of lumber. But once a tile gets to here, it cannot move into a quadrant where there's already tiles. So that action is effectively blocked off unless you were to spend, you know, lanterns to manipulate things. So as actions don't get picked, they get more and more valuable until hopefully you pick them. At the start of the game, though, there are no bonuses. It doesn't matter what position everything's in. And we can pick one of these seven actions. Now, I whittled down my starting orders, and you have to choose one to start out on the board. At the end of every income phase, these are going to slide down, and their main rewards here, at the moment, three reputation, get less and less lucrative to the point where you'll start getting punished. 
losing a point if you complete it, but that's better than not completing it at all and losing two reputation. So for this, I'm going to need different bits of lumber. I'm going to need yellow lumber, and you need exact numbers for this order. You need a four, a one, and a one. You need a saw token and two glue. I do want to get to work on that as soon as possible, but the helper I started with has an ongoing ability. Whenever I recruit new helpers, I get a discount of two blueberries. So I think I might just get helpers to start with. So it comes from this quadrant. It goes as far along as it can to the next quadrant, and I can hire a helper from the display over here. Their cost is in their top left, their ability is in the bottom left, and they have a production bonus in the top right. As nice as it would be to get reputation, that's quite an expensive helper. I'm going to go for this one over here. Got some nice blueberries as uh, production if we can trigger that. Only costs three, so with my two discount that just costs one. And every time I sell dice, they sell for two more than they normally would. I can put them in a space on my board adjacent to an existing worker. So I think I might put them here. You've got the choice of, do you want to increase your hazelnut income points or your blueberry income money? I'm going to go for money income up to the income and reputation board, the blue remarker there, slide it along to one. In the income rounds, which are roughly every four rounds, they get more frequent as the game gets later on. Oh, now earn a money. There are free actions that I can also take. Soaring wood, activating once per turn abilities on your helpers, splicing, gluing, but I don't think I have anything else I want to do right now. Oh, I need to pay my blue room and slide along the workers and bring a new one out. I know these aren't ideally lined up i'm sorry about that i'm squashing things in the more i can zoom in the nicer it'll look i'm hoping now for solo we need to come down to this deck of cards we just draw the top card from it it's going to tell us which tiles to move as if other players had picked them there might be something to do you know remove these dice remove these cards and refresh the display you know as if other players were taking them and to have someone to compete with on the reputation track they sometimes move so they're going to move that particular action tile, selling lumber and buying new lumber. I did want to do that. It's not too bad though. And they're going to get a reputation. That's why we have these markers. They compete with me on reputation because the first to these tiles gets the middle bonus. It would be lovely to get up there. And the reputation track in general makes your completed orders worth more and more points at the end of the game. These two cubes are just for the solo game. They remind us that when we get to round 10, and round 13, we need to remove an unclaimed endgame bonus. So we need to try and get them done. But yeah, easy said to done. Right, we've had our first round. We go to round two. That's a 14th of the game done. Now, it was part of my plan to sell and buy some new lumber. So I think I'm still going to do this. So this tile goes into the next quadrant, but we are now nudging the wheel along because this is also going to make these old tiles worth two points each. You know, the, the bot, the AI player, isn't really playing against me. So that only benefits me to do that in a way, but it just means that you know, if he picks this again, it's gonna be blocked off and I'm not gonna be able to take a fairly useful action, but they're all really useful in their own ways. So first of all, decide whether you want to sell a die. I will. I don't particularly need green right now, so I'm gonna sell my green lumber. So it's value three, you double its value. So I'm gonna get six blueberries, if it was a different color, after doubling it, if it was yellow, you'd get one extra. If it was brown, you'd get two extra. There's the same uh, extra cost for when you're buying the lumber as well. So I'm going to get six blueberries for selling this lumber. Not too bad, but that's going to disappear soon because then I have the option of buying a six. Now, this doesn't come from the lumber yard. That's a different action that gets you that. You are just buying a six of a color of your choice at the normal price. Now, if we look at my order that I want to try and get done, I need yellow, so I'm going to buy a yellow six. And the display tells me up there that buying yellows, there's one added onto the price, so it's going to cost me seven in total. But I've still got a fair bit left there. Now, I do want to do some soaring, but I'm going to wait. So I don't think we're going to do any free actions again. We're going to move on to the bot's turn. And what are they going to do this time? Oh dear, they're really racing me on reputation straight away. So they're going to do the take orders action. So that moves itself into the next quadrant. They're gonna go up two on the reputation track and they are gonna remove the leftmost order card and we refresh the display. You know, as if a player had taken that action. Now what's missing from my order is saw tokens and glue tokens. So let's go for that action. It's over here 
and it lets me buy two different things out of glue, scrap wood, and saw blades. If you look in the corner here, you can see the price of those. Now I have to buy two different things. I can't buy five glue for four blueberries. It has to be two different categories. Luckily, I need two different categories. I want saw blades, so two blueberries gets me two saw blades. And I need glue. I need two for this order, which only cost me one. If I paid three, I could have an extra one. No, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go cheap for now. So it's gonna cost me three blueberries to get two saw blades and two glue. I've got enough money for that, and I'll take my tokens. That extra saw blade is gonna come in handy as well. Well, right now, because as a free action, this is on your turn, you can activate these various things. So let's come over to my shop here. I am gonna do some cutting. Now, to do some cutting, you need to activate a saw token over here. So that's used up. That's not gonna refresh again until the next income phase. Using this saw blade lets you cut some of your lumber. So I could cut this six into a three and a three, a five and a one, whatever I like that adds up to its original value. Now I need for this order here, four, one, one. The way you can do extra cuts is by spending these saw blade tokens. So effectively you get one free cut and you get to do the cut action itself by flipping over this tile. You can buy up to two more with improvement actions. But by spending this extra saw blade, I can do an additional cut. So I can cut this six into a four, one, one, which is exactly what I need. You just adjust your original die and depending on the number of cuts, take additional ones from the supply. Now you do have a limit at the end of your turn. You can only have six dice. So you have to watch out about the timing of so many things. That saw blade's spent, but you can see now, four, one, one, saw blade, glue, glue. I have done this order. I've spent a lot of my stuff, but hopefully these rewards are going to be pretty nice for me. So I get three reputation. We were one, two, three, I've caught up. Then I'm gonna get two points and 10 blueberries. So I am up to 14 now. Now I've kind of been skipping the last step of my turn because I've been wary about not having enough money, but I think I will do some marketing now at the end of my turn. Spend two to get a point. So we're on three points. By the way, a good score for solo is considered 110. I have not gotten close, I'd say yet. So cross your fingers. Right, is that the only free action I want to do? I don't think I need to particularly increase anymore. We need to put this in a face down pile because depending on your reputation, you can get points for your completed orders. And then it's bot's turn. They are going for improvements. Oh, I did take that from that section, didn't I? I should have two more points. Subtitle and they are buying lumber. So these actions now have bonuses if I go for them. And they are buying these three dice from the lumber yard. Effectively, that means re-roll them because there's always two of each color in the lumber yard. Okay, we're on turn four, just before an income round. So in the income round, I will have to play one of these orders and that's what I'll have to get done. If I take an order now and I don't do it, then it will slide down and be worth less. You know, it, its reward here will be worth less. So I'm less inclined to take one. These two are going to get cleared away, as will these two helpers. So if I want to build up to something, it should be one of these. I think I'm going to go for an improvement. Yeah, we'll think about orders later, but I am wary that we <laughs> done one. It was a pretty difficult one. It had high requirements, but fairly high rewards. I'm going to build an improvement, yes. So that's going to slide along. I do get two points because that's the bonus underneath where the tile was. It goes to the next quadrant as far along as it can, just until it meets something. Like if this tile goes along to this quadrant now, it stops there. It doesn't fill in the gap for now. It's uh, fairly nice. So the improvements that I can buy, they're kind of here. I can get new pots where I can plant new things. I'm very tempted. Pots do come with saplings. They grow by two every turn. I can get gluing tiles. You can glue two dice together with the help of glue tokens. You can make splicing better. Your starting splice tile, you spend a scrap wood to increase a die by one. Uh, you can increase them by one or two and between one and four with these tiles. But I think I'm going to go for another saw. So we start the game with one out here that I've spent. I'm going to get another one and I'm not going to use it right now. But I think it's going to be good to have, especially because your second saw here, it does cost you three and get you a hazelnut income, but it gives you a permanent ability now whenever you buy sixes and that's buying them, you know, from the lumber yard or from the supply like I did earlier. 
you get a discount of two, which is pretty nice. Hopefully that's going to save us some money and being able to cut that lumber into hopefully what we need. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Now, do I want to just use that saw token? Turn this two into ones. You obviously can't saw a one. Just so I'm using it. And we'll have things later. I do want a two here, but you know, these two orders both want ones. Maybe we'll get something else that wants a one. I'm just going to use it just so we have some more things that maybe we can use later. Maybe we'll splice it. Maybe we'll sell it. I think that's the end of my free actions. Bot is coming in, and this symbol means they take the tile that's furthest back. So they take that one. They move one on the reputation track, and they are very close to taking this bonus away from me. In a two-player game, you just look at the middle value. Only the first person to get to that space takes the bonus, gets rid of the tile. Okay, now we come to an income round. Over on the action wheel, it reminds us what happens. First of all, all of your orders next to your player board move down a space, get less and less lucrative uh, to the point where you're going to end up punished. I don't have any orders out there yet. Next, you need to play an order from your hand. So what are we going to go for? I mean, claiming those bonuses, it's going to be great for points later, but these orders will help you keep going in terms of rewarding you with money. I'm hopefully going to be able to do a few things. I'm going to go for this one. I've got a one ready. I could maybe boost another one into a two. That means I just need to get a four. Yeah, I'm going to go for that one. So it comes in where it says in the top left there at the one blueberry bonus. Doesn't get me any reputation, but hopefully orders that we can get elsewhere will help us out there. Then you get income according to your tracks. For me, that's one point and one blueberry. Refresh all of your tiles that you've spent. For me, that's both of my saws. And then finally, we discard the last two order cards and helper cards, slide them along and draw some new ones. Now, there are new decks at the end of the second income phase. There are late game order and late game helper decks where, you know, the whole thing will be replaced rather than just two being moved along. OK, then round five. What do I want to do? I've got this order ready and waiting. It's not very far from dropping off completely. I probably want to get some new orders. I'm going to take the new orders action then. So you can get one for free, or you can take two if you pay three blueberries. Now I am thinking about reputation. I'm going to go for this one that would give me two if I can move along. It's not the be all and end all, should maybe not focus too much. You do slide along and reveal a new one before you decide whether you want a second one or not. Now just a six yellow and some scrap wood is potentially easy to do. Easier maybe. I do get discounts on buying sixes, don't I? Yeah, it'll get me a tool as well and we can see how those work. So. They're effectively in the same space. I've just, you know, I'm, I'm cramped for space here, so I'm squashing everything together a little bit. But they're on the same row. I have to pay three blueberries for that. Any bonuses, any free actions I want to do? Not just yet. I'm going to see what we can get done with these next rounds. Bot is going to do an improvement and production stroke planting. So the improvement is going to move the wheel along go there. It can be used again still because this section is now em empty. This one slides along. And now taking any of these actions will give you a saw blade token as well as anything else it might get you. So buying two lumber here gets you a glue, a scrap wood and a saw blade as an, in addition to the action, which does make it quite nice, actually, because I do want to buy it. There is a six there and I still get the discount if I buy it from here. I'm going to take this action. So I get my saw blade, glue and scrap wood because the the order wants a scrap wood as well. And then I can buy two lumber from here. Move it along. I'm going to buy the six because I need that. It costs me six, seven. Remember, though, I get a discount of two on buying these sixes. So it costs me five. Now, I've only got two money left, which is a bit of a shame because I do need brown twos, but there aren't any in the display. I could buy a yellow two. Well, there's a green two there. I don't really need it at the moment, though. There is an order that wants a yellow five and then a green one and a one with a saw blade that could potentially be done. Or maybe we just sell it later. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. Oh, yeah, because otherwise this is one plus two. So that costs three. I can't afford it. That costs two plus one. Costs three. I can't afford it. I could just buy one die and ignore the second, but I'm going to try and make the most of it. So I'm buying those and then I've got my yellow six. I've got my scrap wood. I can fulfill this order. It's a free action to do it you might as well get it done. So I get a blueberry, I get myself five more, and then I get myself a file. So there are many different tools. They go in your attic. They need to start out on the bottom shelf, the bottom tier. Uh, as you make, you know, as you put two things down, you can put things in the space above. 
Works like a pyramid. Apart from these spaces, uh, so something can go in there if uh, if there is a tool there. If you put different things adjacent to each other, you'll trigger the linking bonuses. So I would not mind some reputation, maybe some points. I'm going to go off in this direction. Pop it there. Unfortunately, my other orders don't reward me with any tools right now. Uh, in terms of other actions, I don't think I want to get anything done right now. So that's going to be it. Bot is going to take this away. That's a bit of a shame. Oh, and then take orders. And then they are going to take these two orders away. The one with green one and one. So well, I didn't have big plans for that. I was kind of just buying the green two because it was there. But hopefully there'll be use for it. There we go. A green three and a green one. I'm not too far off. I can still split it into ones by that three. Oh, I should be refilling the lumber yard as well. Whenever anything is taken from it, roll two new dice or oh, ones. Good when your orders need them, though. Okay, so where does that leave me? I mean, hiring gets me this saw blade. It's fairly cheap to do because I get the discount, don't I? Which helpers have we got right now? Uh, so immediately take an improvement action. That's quite nice, but I don't have a ton of money. It would cost me two for the helper, and then I would only have four for an improvement, and then I've got no money. This one here gets you nothing but can produce a lantern, which very lucrative, could get you bonus actions. Uh, this one would end up costing me two. Every time you gain reputation, you gain a blueberry. Uh, and this one would just get you a reputation right now. Do you know what? I'm going to sell. Doesn't get me any bonus. I'm going to sell that two. So it's doubled to four. Add two thanks to my helper. I get six back for it, so a tidy profit. And then I can buy a six... I'm going to buy a brown six. So normally it would cost you eight, but I get the two discount, don't I, from having my saws. So basically I have turned a green two into a brown six, which is brilliant, I think. And thanks to what I've got here, this is going to work out brilliantly. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. I'm going to use one of my saw blades and the saw blade token I picked up as a bonus last time to cut this into some even twos. Now, I know I've only got six spaces. You can have more dice, but at the end of your turn, you've got to throw away any more than six. So I'm going to cut this into three even twos. Well, I am only at six dice anyway. Uh, but then I've got two, two, and glue for this. I mean, this one is still up in the air when I'm going to get that done, but I'm pretty happy with this because I'm going to get two points and six blueberries and two reputation, which puts me just ahead of the bot and gets me these three bonus blueberries. And that's three orders done. I'm pretty pleased with that. I've got a nice little pile again now, and I should probably do some marketing, which I haven't done for ages. Uh, spend two to get two points. Yeah, it's not essential that you do that, but it's probably a good idea. Right then, bot is going for components and the lumber yard and they are taking away these three lumber dice and some magic new ones up here i would like to take one of these so that the bonus for getting a helper is even better i do have some more money now and what would i like to do is i've already got the one so if i bought a yellow six i would just have to cut it into a four and a two but i do need the saw blade and the two things from here so i need the component action and i need to buy a six yeah there is a a bit to do let's go for buying components yeah, no extra bonus on the wheel, but there is a blueberry bonus there. Oh, and this comes off. This is only for the start. The bonuses are there as soon as you've uh, kind of moved out of that quadrant. So I do get one blueberry, and then I can buy some components. I want saw blades, so that's two for two. And then I need two scrap wood. I could get three scrap wood for three, or just get two scrap wood for one. I think I'll just get... Yeah, I'll just pay three in total, get two saw blades, two scrap wood. Saw blades are going to help me cut up the yellow six I'm hoping to get. I, yeah, I hope. Uh, but by this moving over, I'm not uh, moving the wheel properly, am I? There we go. So now, when I do this, hopefully it's still going to be available. I can get a saw blade and a lantern and two points. Oh, but oh no, I haven't been keeping up with this. That was my eighth turn. Okay, we need to move along here. Pay a blueberry to get two points. Oh dear. So bot comes in and it's going to take the furthest back one, which is this. Taking my lovely bonuses away and they're getting two reputation. Thankfully I got there first. But then we're having income again. We've still got time, haven't we? Right. Yeah, we're not far away from doing that. I just need to buy a six and then we're done. Okay. Income round. Orders moved down. I've lost a blueberry. Uh, you need to play an order. We need to try and get these things claimed, don't we? But I think I need an order in that's going to help me. 
Yeah, let's pop that up to two. Income is still just one point, one blueberry. Refresher things, I only used one saw. I mean, I could cut that into two ones, but is that really helping me? I don't feel like I got as much done that time. Then we don't need to discard these because new decks are coming in. There we go. And you know, with two yellow ones sitting around, this one has caught my eye. Three reputation for it as well. I mean, that I might not do that many orders, but the ones I've done will be worth a lot more. Okay, then round nine. Next round, we're going to have to say goodbye to one of these unclaimed bonuses. All of them are unclaimed. I haven't really gained tools, have I? Yeah, gaining one is pretty useless. You want to gain more than that, really. We want to buy a yellow six and get this done, don't we? But we also want to get this done. This needs a five and a three and a green one and a glue. Okay, we're going to diverge from this and earn some money. I'm going to sell again. So I get a scrap wood. That's going to help me, I think. And we're going to sell one of these yellow ones because... It has to be a different colour. I would love to just sell this brown one and buy a brown six, but it's got to be a different colour if you're doing both things. I'm going to sell this yellow one, which might hold me back with the other action I wanted to do. So double it, two, add one, three, add two from my helper bonus, five. And we know that a brown cost me six with my two discount. So I'm just going to pay one from my supply. Now, actions. I want to saw this six into a five and a one. I don't need to spend saw blade tokens because I'm just doing one cut. I am going to splice, spend a scrap wood to increase the value of a die. Oh, I don't have a green one. So there's no need to do all of this in one go just yet. I mean, things might happen. I still need the glue as well. Where are we getting glue from? We're probably buying it. We'll see because whatever action gets put here will get me some bonus glue. Yeah, let's not do the splicing yet, but that's what I'm aiming for. Five points, 11 money for doing that. Bot is going for oh dear my lovely sell and buy a six they are moving the wheel around for me and then taking a helper and then they are taking this helper slide them along new one comes out let's me adjust greens and so yeah unfortunately let's not pick the right tiles to make uh, glue come up there none there none there okay we're not getting it as bonuses taking this though well, let me activate productions. Planting dice, I only have a pot for green dice, and you can only plant ones and twos, so I can't do that. I could just do the production. I've only got these two to produce. It would be two blueberries and one blueberry. So that action would get me three, five blueberries, a scrap wood, and a three yellow or green. I can't do this action unless I pick something else and use the lantern. Well, what about this? To do this, the lantern you're spending cannot be one you're earning from a bonus. You have to already have the lantern. I'm going to spend my lantern to change the action. I'm going to pick this, but I am going to have this action. So first of all, I pick this and get all of its bonuses. I get two blueberries, a three yellow I'll pick, and a scrap wood. And I am going to say that it's this action. I am going to sell the yellow three that I just gained. So that goes to three, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, but no, I want a yellow six, don't I, for this? Okay, let's say we took a green three instead of a yellow. So it's just going to be worth one less. So it's going to be worth eight still. And buying a yellow six costs five with my discounts. So I still earn three out of the bargain. So then we can cut this into a four and a two. And then I've got four, two, one, saw blade, two scrap wood. We can do this. Now, do I want five blueberries and five points? Well, I want them, but no, not at the expense of a goal, I don't think. It's another completed order too. So the goals that I can claim before they... A one should be disappearing. So I think this one, have a load of tools. We're not going to do that. This is have a load of things left over. We might end up doing that, but I feel like I'm just going to go use one of my unused cubes. I'm just going to go for the straight up 12 points. This one gets you three now and a maximum of 16 for having these tokens left over at the end of the game. We'll see how it goes. I'm just going to go for the straight up 12 points where I don't have to do anything. Because in round 13, that's disappearing. If I haven't claimed it yet. So I can only put the order out at the end of round 11. So I've basically got a round. I've, I can build up to it and get ready to do it immediately. But should I be doing some of these things instead? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go for my marketing. And that's going to be four blueberries gets me three points. One, two, three. Not very far towards this 110 armor. Uh, right. We still need the glue and a green one for this. Oh, dear. Bot is going for the production and planting. 
goes there, and hire a helper. It's almost at the glue. And then they're taking this helper away, and we can see another one. And that's the deck done, so we shuffle that up. It's round 11. I did really want to get that done, but it's not happening, is it? I can buy the lumber. A vine lumber actually gets me a green one on top of everything else. That's going to give me too many things. So I haven't got the gluing tile to put anything together. Yeah, I can have all of the stuff, but I haven't got any glue. Which I wish earlier I'd bought an extra glue. If I buy the glue, I won't have the green one. There are no orders that help me out particularly at this stage. And if I buy three dice, I won't have the space for them. We'll still get one reputation from completing that eventually. Yeah, I've got myself a bit stuck from never planting and stuff, I think. We can sell again and go to the next stage. Just buy a green six. Sell. We'll probably just sell one of these brown ones. Double it. Two. Add two to four. Add two to six. So I'd still be making a bit of money. And I can buy the green six. Split it and have some more for later. I've already used my source, so I couldn't do it now anyway. And then we can make these a bit more lucrative as well. Yeah, let's take this, make every action worth a bit more. Then we'll sell a one, two, four, six money. Buy a green six for four money. So I've still made two. Because I want this to be a three for this tile, or if we're doing this and trying to do the goal, I need it for this too. I'm going to do my splicing, spend a scrap wood, and I can boost a die by one. So there we've got the five and the three. That's spent. Trying to use up all of my free actions. Not really use the discount on helpers ever. And then, oh, I've got a fair bit of money. Let's spend six to get four points. Keep on that marketing. Okay, bot is going to do the one furthest back, which is this one, and get a reputation. They're getting close. And then it's going to be income once more. So orders go down. Play an order. So for the final income round, you won't have an order to play, but it's the end of the game. Income, it's still one and one. Refresh all your tiles. The last two move on. And we enter round 12. So I've got the one, haven't I, if I split this die. I'm going to get an improvement. No, I'm not. I can get the glue I need here if I buy two dice. And we can save that high green for something else later, maybe, and not even need to split it. I'll still get two points and a glue here. Let's buy two lumber. It'll get me the glue, it'll get me the two points. And I could just buy this green one. Yeah, and not have to split any of that. Are we going to go for this goal? We could still complete the order and get 5.5 5 blueberries and ignore the goal. Because I don't know, are we going to have a load of this stuff lying around at the end of the game? Kind of been spending it as I earn it. So I just want this green one. That costs one. And brown three might come up, well, it, it does come up on the other one. So that's going to cost me three, four, five, six. I've only got two blueberries left, but this does mean that I can spend five, three, and a green one, and the glue I just earned to complete this for two reputation, five points, and 11 blueberries. And that's another completed order. Now I've got 13. Do I want to spend eight of it to get six points? I do want to, but that might just hold me back too much. I mean, I've only got two more opportunities to go along this afterwards, but I'm not going to have the money to get all the way along it anyway. I think hang on to it, and maybe we'll be able to turn the dice we've got into something. Would well, you know what? Take backs. Instead of that brown three, we'll buy a yellow two. So yeah, I'd have two more blueberries, because I could maybe use that on this order if it still exists when we come to it. Bot is probably going to take that away. They're doing an improvement. Oh, they're not taking it away. So I could get some glue again. And they are doing some planting. Never did no planting. It seems a bit late now, doesn't it? Right. So I want an order. That is going to get me three points, a refresh tile, which means you can use one of the things that you've already used again, and a scrap wood, which would be two of the three I'd need for that order. Just everything you don't complete is minus two reputation at the end of the game. So you Got to be aware that you know, ignoring this is cancelling out some of that reputation. And I've basically got this turn and next turn. We need to get rid of the other unclaimed thing. So this is worth 5.5 5 blueberries now because I've left it too long. The unclaimed goals go. Oh, and we should have uh, some dice here. Let's see what comes out. Let's take an order. So that gives me scrap wood, the use again tile. I haven't really used the tiles I've got, have I? And three points. And then the order I'm going to take is this one that I can pretty much do. Comes in here at three reputation. 
and then slide them along and see another one. And do I want to pay? No, that one's really difficult. They are the late game ones, they're harder. So this one here, we can use a saw tile, split that into a four and a two. Use a saw tile, split that into a one and a one. And we are a scrap wood short, which we can just get next turn. That's what we're gonna have to do next turn with the last turn. Okay, so this, and we're not gonna do this. Minus two reputation. I'm gonna gain three from there. Was it worth it? I don't know. Uh, this one, getting components and getting lumber and taking these three dice. And the final turn then is going to have to gain me some scrap wood in some way. And in terms of bonuses, that's not being rewarded anywhere. So I'm going to have to go for just the components. Oh, is there anything can get me scrap wood in activations? No. Yeah, I think it's going to have to be the component action. So I need to buy scrap wood. If I want two, that's going to cost me one blueberry, which is the most frugal thing to do, I think. Because at the end of the game, everything you've got left over, pips, these components all add up and divide by 10. So I might as well spend a blueberry to turn into two glue, because that's you know increasing what you've got, isn't it? I should probably have spent at the end of last round. If I'd spent the eight, I would have five left. I would earn four from here, so I wouldn't have the 10 to go there anyway. No, it doesn't matter that I didn't spend that money, I don't think. Although if I don't buy the glue, yeah, if I don't buy the glue, and I had remembered last time to buy the marketing, eight blueberries for six points, then we can now do this. Three scrap wood, one, one, four. We get a lantern, bit late, four blueberries, and three reputation. One, two, three is going to get me two points, and a production, the best production, is two blueberries that I've got. Oh, so I could, yeah. Oh, so I could afford the glue. Yeah, I'll just take one and the two glue. It's confusing things now. I don't think I'm going to have 10 anyway left over, so it doesn't really matter. That's a completed order, and at the moment they're all worth 5 points each every order I did. That's another 30 points, but unfortunately this order is going to be minus 2 reputation. It's going to make them all worth 4 points each, unfortunately. Right, and now I do have 10, don't I? To go up 8 more points, so we're on 49. Don't think we're making that 110. Right, bot can't really compete with me for anything now. Going there is getting lumber and moving everything along, but we've already had our last turn. And re-rolling some dice, we'll go through it though. Make sure it's all done properly. And then final income is going to be, move your things down, play new orders, not in the last one. Income is still a blueberry and a point. I'm on 50 points. Use one of your markers in the 50 zone there. Refresh all of your use things, but none of that matters, refreshing the cards and stuff. End game. Public contract I claimed, I get 12 points. Values of leftovers. I don't think the lanterns and the use again tokens count. So I've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just shy of a point there. Every order you've still got moves you back two on the reputation track. And then every completed order is worth that many points. For me, that's four. So it's going to be four, eight, 12, 16, 24. And that's going to pop me on 86. Now the rule book does say 110 is a good score. 140 is fantastic. And it's somewhat random based on, you know, the, the way the deck comes out the bot might make really brilliant bonuses for you. Uh, things that really line up, it might not. It's a bit random in that respect, but you can line some things up and you can kind of, you know, nudge the wheel along without risk of thinking, oh, I'm making all those actions so lucrative for everybody else now. As you might in, say, a four-player game, you put in that wheel along if there's loads of tiles that suddenly get a great big bonus you're potentially giving the other three players, okay, we're all going to take these amazing bonuses. Thanks a lot. But hey, there we go. I do not claim to be very good at this game yet. Haven't had as much time with it as I would like so far, but I'm uh, going to be coming back to it very soon in a couple of weeks, I hope. I hope that this gives you a good idea of what Woodcraft is like, though, and whether or not you'd be interested in it. It's coming out around Essenspiel, which is in October. If you'd like to know what I think about it, the first impressions will be linked on the screen very shortly, or they're in the description now. If you'd like to help support the channel, that's in the description. And most of all, thank you for watching, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye, everyone.